Hi friends, I'm Jack. And I'm Jax, and we'd like to welcome you here to the Zillion Story House. We love it here at the house, but sometimes it's fun to go other places too. Do you guys like where you live? Have you ever thought about maybe living somewhere else? Well, that's what today's story is all about. It's about two mice. One mouse who lives in the country. And one mouse who lives <clears throat> in the city. <laughs> today's story is called The Country Mouse and the town mouse. Once there was a mouse who lived in the country. Oh, he liked his country life all right. He loved eating ripe, juicy strawberries straight from the strawberry patch, and he loved watching the cows and chickens on the farm wander about throughout the day. He worked hard in the country, gathering up grains and berries for food. But at the end of the day, when he would curl up in his soft, warm nest in the hay and watch the beautiful sunset through a crack in the barn door, he would know that he was truly happy. Then one day, the country mouse got a letter from his cousin who lived in the city. The letter said, Dearest cousin, it has been so long since I've heard from you. However have you been? I am doing splendidly. Life in the city is so wonderful, so terribly bright and exciting. Every day is a new adventure. You should think one day of moving to the city. Think of the adventures we would have together. Well, ta-ta for now, dear cousin. I must be off. Signed, sincerely, your dearest relation, Town Mouse. When Country Mouse read that letter, his mind started spinning. The city sounded amazing. Just thinking about all the lights and the excitement made his heart beat faster. And suddenly, he didn't seem to like the country as much as he'd thought. In fact, he started to think about moving to the city. I am sick of the country. Doggone sick of the country. I think I'll move to the city and have myself some fun. To see some busy crowds away from stinky cows. I'm moving out of the country. I'll get far away from the country. I'm moving out of the country. Big city, here I come. Yeehaw! So the country mouse packed up his belongings and started the long journey from the country to the city. He approached the city just as night began to fall. Almost all at once, the lights in the city came on and the whole place looked like it was covered in diamonds and glitter. The country mouse was amazed. Well, golly, Pete, would you just look at that? Why, that's the prettiest dang thing I think I ever did see. We don't have anything like that back where I come from. Oh, goodness me, I would know that voice anywhere. Cousin, dear cousin, is that you? It sure is. Well, hey there, cuz. It sure is one pretty city you got here. Cousin, cousin, oh, it's so wonderful seeing you looking so well. But as they say around here, you ain't seen nothing yet. And with that, the town mouse took his cousin for a walk and showed him all around the bustling city. Welcome here to the city, sitting perfectly pretty. Everything here in the city a little mouse could need. Ha! The buses, trains, and lights, yeah, the noisy city nights, ha cha! So welcome here to the city, I welcome you to the city, you'll love it here in the city, let's see what we can see. And with that, the town mouse took his cousin all over the busy city, showing him all the sights a simple little mouse could ever want to see. They saw giant buildings and towering statues, saw plays and heard music of all kinds. They heard other things too, like thundering trains and honking horns and the pounding feet of thousands of people. The little country mouse was amazed. He had never seen or heard such things in all his life. Afterward, the town mouse took his cousin back to his house. It was way up on the 45th floor of a towering skyscraper.
There, they ate the fanciest food the country mouse had ever had. They had puddings and sauces and pastas and cheeses, Mongolian gooses and fine Spanish geeses. And afterwards, Town Mouse sat back and burped and said, Now, dear cousin, was that a delicious feast or was that a delicious feast, eh? Hmm? But the country mouse couldn't answer. His tummy was doing flips and flops. He was too queasy from all of that cheesy. He was starting to miss his simple food back home and the nice, simple quiet of the farm. And just then, the mice looked up and saw something huge. Meow. What in tarnation is that? Oh, him? That's Mr. Whiskers. He lives here as well. Oh, he's perfectly harmless. I assure you, dear cousin. Are you? Yes, you are. Who's a good kid? Ha, uh, ha, uh, Mr. Whiskers. <laughs> nice kitty. Thanks for the grub, cuz. I'm getting out of here. And with that, the country mouse grabbed his belongings and ran all the way back to the farm. He thought all about what he had seen in the city. All the beautiful things and the scary things, too. He thought about all of the lights and the fancy food and all the constant noise all day long. And the more he thought about it, the more he realized that he liked where he lived. He liked being on the farm with the quiet breezes and the animals, and most of all, he liked the sweet, juicy strawberries straight from the patch. A few days later, he decided to write his cousin a letter. Dear Cuz, thank you so much for inviting me to visit you in the city. I had a very interesting time, and I learned an awful lot about where you live. I even think I learned a few things about where I live. I would love for you to come visit me in the country soon. It would be so dang nice to see you again. Take care. Sincerely, your cousin, Country Mouse. And a few weeks later, the town mouse did go to visit his cousin in the country. And Country Mouse showed him all the sights and sounds of the farm. And town mouse liked it. Well, most of it. What in the world is that hideous thing? <laughs> Oh, that? Oh, that's Bessie. She won't bother you. Ah! <laughs> now, that was a really funny story. <laughs> it really was. I love funny stories. What kind of story is your favorite? Remember, there are great stories all around you, so keep listening. And we'll see you next time here at the Zillion Story House. Bye, friends. Bye-bye.